Learning valuable business lessons from a Jain entrepreneur is always a billion dollar idea. Welcome to Work Mindset. Here let's learn the 10 business lessons from Netflix co-founder Mark Randolph. Before stepping inside, if you are new to the channel, please do subscribe and press the bell icon and get notified whenever the video is uploaded. If you are old enough to remember the days of going to Blockbuster to find a new movie or to watch an old favorite movie for the hundredth time, you might have thought those were golden old days. In reality, they were. But things dramatically changed when Netflix came onto the scene. On August 29, 1997, Netflix was started by Reed Hastings and Mark Randolph as an online DVD rental service. But now, it has become the world's largest online streaming platform. What can we learn from Netflix founder Mark Randolph? Thanks to Randolph and co-founder Savvy Business Decisions, Netflix is now worth billions of dollars. Number 1. Staying ahead of competitors While Netflix was the first of its kind, competitors have flooded the market over years. Amazon, Disney, TV networks and many more companies offer successful streaming networks. In addition, Netflix's business model continued to change with the times. It started as a DVD rental company, then offered viewers subscription services and by 2007, it was rebranded into an online streaming service. Number 2. Setting Trends Trends change all the time and to stay relevant, companies need to stay on top of their game. Randolph and Netflix started the concept of binge watching so their audience didn't have to wait each week to see their favorite show. Number 3. Become a Disruptor You need to become a disruptor and make the competition uncomfortable if you want to succeed. For example, Randolph knew that they could disrupt Blockbuster's business by ditching videos and DVD rentals. Number 4. Seizing Opportunities Netflix saw an opportunity to expand its business by not only providing subscription streaming services but also by offering exclusivity of in-house productions. Number 5. Customer Experience The streaming portal was designed to personalize the user's experience. It tracks the customer's behavior, recommends movies and shows according to their search and watch history and saves the user's progress to improve their experience the next time when they use the platform. Number 6. Pricing Randolph and Hastings offered customers a monthly flat rate fee to watch unlimited DVDs to compete further with Blockbuster. Their stance on the flat rate model has remained the same since it was introduced in 1997, except it is now a subscription-based service. While prices have increased over the years, consumers are still well aware of and committed to Netflix quality shows and binge watching opportunities. Number 7. Expansion Another incredible way Randolph and his team took Netflix to new heights was by going global. They didn't just offer Netflix to the global market, instead they researched each company's regulations, technical requirements, politics, culture and consumer preference to ensure the launch success. As a result, Netflix can now be streamed in 190 countries worldwide. Number 8. Data-Driven Platform In 2013, Netflix released its first critically acclaimed virginal show, House of Cards. But why did it choose this show to spend millions on creating? Netflix already knew what the customer wanted through the data collected from the market. Initially, it has used a simple rating system followed by studying customer preference to ensure they got it right. Number 9. Changing to the Times Randolph and Hastings saw a huge opportunity in the increasing popularity of smart TVs. So they integrated themselves into LCD TVs to expand the audience accessibility to the platform. As a result, families across the United States used Netflix as their primary source of television entertainment. Number 10. Always be evolving. Netflix started into a market that didn't even know it needed a change. 
Randolph and Hastings developed a Netflix to make DVD rentals convenient for the customers with no extra fees. Consumers didn't have to go to video rental shops. Home entertainment was simplified and they completely changed the game. Netflix has continuously adjusted its business model to stay ahead of the game and to set trends. By the way, the final key takeaway is listen closely to what people ask you and that's where to find your hidden power. And that's it. Hope you found something breathtaking in this video and see you again with next. Thanks for watching and keep growing. Thank you.